Hi everybody. We're going to do another Q&A video. Um, this one, uh, a question that came into the website. So here we go. I wanted to know if you had weight fluctuations during the time you were losing all your weight. I find that even though I stick to the blueprint you were talking about, my weight fluctuates two to three pounds at a time. I drink lots of water, but I'm not sure what causes this to happen. I'm so excited when I see a pound come off, but then I get really frustrated to see it come back on the next day. This drives me crazy. I can totally see why that drives you crazy. That's part of the reason why I don't weigh myself every day. I weigh myself three times a week, the same days, the same time of, of day, and then I record it. And, um, you know, of course, when we're losing weight, we're looking for trends, <laughs> downward trends. And, um, and then, you know, those those small fluctuations um, can be, as you you know, already kind of tapped into, um, water retention or um, even hormonal changes can can cause those small fluctuations um, up and down to two to three, five, even five pounds. Anything over five pounds um, for a week or more, and I go back to you know um, tracking on Fujicate on the phone app that I use, um, and and really get that under control because um, you know that's not water. <laughs> That's not water that we're retaining when it's more than five pounds. So that we want to really get that, um, get that, stop that before it uh, takes off. So anyway, the, but you asked specifically about my journey and um, you know and and how I lost. Did I experience plateaus and fluctuations while I was losing weight? So um, I did. I lost 120 pounds, but I didn't do it all at once. I had lap band surgery in June of 2007 and committed to changing my exercise and eating habits for the rest of my life. I did change my eating habits significantly at first and, um, and lost 85 pounds within the first year. And then I held there for about a year in a, in a holding pattern in a plateau. Um, and, and then I really ramped up my exercise a lot. I, um, I took up running. I was walking long distances and going faster and faster and eventually just kind of morphed into running. And, um, and I also took up strength training at the same time. So that, that next year I lost 25 pounds as a result of, of ramping up that exercise. And then a couple years ago, um, I held at that weight for then another like three years. So a couple years ago, I really tightened up my diet, uh, eliminating most white products and sugar too. And, um, and then I lost another 10 pounds as a result of that. So I'm kind of in a sweet spot right now, which I won't say is easy to maintain because I am really vigilant about my diet and I exercise vigorously six times a week. Um, but it is a comfortable place for me to be and, and I can maintain this. Um, but those plateaus can be real buggers, right? So um, I think the best way to deal with that is to to really shake something up. So not necessarily, um, you know, uh, eliminate um, calories, but to change them. So front load them at the beginning of the day, like I recommend, or you know, try eliminating um, some of those white foods and and instead of not just eliminating the calories, but changing the calories to lean protein. Um, healthy fats and vegetables and and see if that really changes. I think to, 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 to deal with those plateaus, you really have to change something significantly. Um, and it's, it's usually food. Um, but you know, um, when you're kind of at the margin within 10 pounds of your, of your goal weight, um, exercise can, can be a big help too. So anyway, I hope that helps. I love these questions. So if you have one, submit it to uh, marilynmckenna.com slash ask. We'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.